What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more ranked competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Power Herb here in Black team that also features Life Orb, Charizard, and Umbreon. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, come on, yo, subscribe to the channel. I was looking at my analytics and about 60% of my viewers. Yep. 60 percent that's a huge number are not subscribed to the channel so that's one of you guys scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button but before we get into the team preview i want to give a huge shout out to my boy clover bells for leaving this team for me clover bells is another youtuber who makes pokemon content so shout out to him for giving me this team link to his channel will be down in the description below make sure you guys should go show him some jeans love down there but let's get started with this team preview we got kiram black in that top left corner this pokemon is one of those restricted mods who's not too good but he can be good. But you guys will see in a minute. You guys will see in a minute. It can hit hard, but a lot of Pokemon in the meta can really just overpower it and take it out. But we got Terrible as a thing's ability. Power Herb as his item. So this thing can actually use Free Shock in one turn. We got Breaking Swipe. We got Dragon Dance set up. And then we got Fusion Bolt for our coverage move. And it works very well up against Kyogre teams. Right next to him is going to be Cle Clefairy, a great support mod for his team. Can actually protect any Pokemon on the team because it has that friend guard. Then we got Evo Light, so we can soak up some shots. Move set of Dazzle Gleam, Helping Hand, Follow Me, and Protect. Middle left is going to be Landers. Landers is just great in all situations. Has Intimidate as its ability, and this one has a Lumberry as its item. We got EQ, we got Fly, we got Rock Slide, and we have Sword Stance to set up and hopefully sweep some battles with them. Right next to him is going to be Umbreon. Umbreon's just great all around. It can be used for support, it can hit pretty hard, and it can be used to just stall out some battles. This thing has inner focus, so it can't be faked out. It also has leftover, so it gets HP at the end of every single turn. Alongside with the moveset of play, or not play rough, foul play, Moonlight to get HP back, Snarl to drop special attack, and Yawn to put opposing Pokemon to sleep. Bottom left corner is going to be our heavy hitter for the squad. That is going to be Charizard. I should say special attacking heavy hitter because Kieran White is a great physical attacking heavy hitter. But special attacking heavy hitter is going to be Charizard here with that life orb and that solar power. Put this thing in the sun. You guys already know it is GG's. This is G-Max. I should have probably said that, but you guys should already know that. Every single Charizard is probably G-Max. It has Heat Wave. It has Scorching Sands. It has Air Slash and Protect. A wonderful moveset for this Pokemon. Bottom right corner is going to be the final mod, and that is going to be Torkoal. He's great at controlling weather, he's great at pairing up with this Charizard, and he's really, really strong in a trick room. So Torkoal has the drought, he's got the Citrus Berry as an item, and then he's rocking out with the move set of Eruption, Burning Jealousy, Yawn to put Pokemon to sleep, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, Mental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder, look to get some wins with this Power Herb Kieran Black team and Life Orb Charizard. Pretty cool team coming from our opponent in battle number one. He has a Zacian team that also features Galarian Articuno. And you don't really see Galarian Articuno too, too much, so it's pretty cool to see it on the master tier. But this guy also has Porygon 2, Urshfu, Serene, and then the Landorus, not in the Intimidate form. It has the Sheer Force form. I totally forget what the form's called, but let's see how we should play this one, and let's see who we should go into. I'm thinking just, like, maybe going into Kieran White. Or not Kieran White, Kieran Black right off the rip, just to show him off. Or I could honestly just go into the Charizard Torkoal combo and get rolling out strong with that. That is looking pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, it's looking really good. And then we can just bring Kieran White in the back or Kieran Black in the back. I'm liking that. I'm liking that a lot. So let's go. Charizard, Torkoal. Yeah, dude, it's just looking too good. It is just looking too good. If he wants to go trick room, we have that Torkoal on the field, so it's really, really good. Kieran Black, and then uh, hmm, and then Lando or Umbreon. I mean, Umbreon could be good just for stall out late game, but Lando is pretty strong as well, especially because he has Zacian. We can get Intimidates off. So I'm kind of digging that. But Zacian kind of just dumps on this. It's a little tough. It is a little tough. That's why I'm thinking of just going Umbreon. Let's go Umbreon here. Let's go Umbreon. Lock it down and get after this battle in battle number one. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. This one's actually an important one. Do you guys think Pokemon Legends Arceus is going to be good? Or do you think it's going to be a bad game? Because I know people are on the fence about it because there's no like ranked battles or anything. But what do you guys think it's going to be? Personally, I think it's going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be a really good game. It's going to be a great solo player game. It's reminding me a lot of Breath of the Wild, just Pokemon themed. So that's my opinion on it. Let me get yours in the comment section down below. But he's going to lead the Articuno, which is pretty cool, alongside with the Urshfu. So we do set the Sun, which I'm, I think, I'm thinking of just Dynamax here and getting Amphorus Articuno. Could definitely be our play. He doesn't really have a lot. Does he have any Pokemon that can eat up a Fire Shot? Let me see. Not really. I mean, unless he swaps into PZ. We're gonna do some big damage on the slot. So, you know what? We're just gonna go here. We're gonna Dynamax. We're gonna go straight for this Wildfire. Or, you know what? I could just go into Airstream and just get a little bit of speed here. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking getting this little bit of speed here and then maybe just going into a Burning Jealousy, which could be good. Hmm. 
could just do this or we can yawn eruption could come out here but i think he's they're gonna hit me what do i do what do i do what's change let's go for an eruption yeah yeah because it, it's tough it's tough with these two combo right here it is really tough because it's like yo do we target down the charizard who's gonna g-max do some big damage or do we target down the Torkoal who's gonna erupt so i'm gonna pose that threat by going into a wildfire on one slot and an eruption on the other slot we're not wildfire we're going into uh airstream just get a little bit of speed boost we'll set up our wildfire in a little bit but we're we're thriving here, y'all. I'm liking where we're sitting. Great little start for us. Great lead. See if we can grab ourselves a win here. Let's see how Stu plays out. We get to go first, obviously. Airstream's gonna poke here. Now, Yeet send that and getting off some big damage on that thing. Urshfu, get on out my game, yo. Dude, the power of Charger. This Pokemon is one of the strongest. One of the strongest. Especially when they brought back G-Maxes. Which is like, dude, come on. You're gonna give Charizard this G-Max? Yep. Learns phenomenal moves. Hits like a truck in the sun. It's too good. And then you give it Life Orb. It's phenomenal. This thing is going to set up a Tailwind. Yo, dude, I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. That's fine, yo. Because Eruption coming out with full health in the sun. Yo, Articuno, get out my face, dude. <laughs> Look at that damage. This thing is, of course, Sash. Could have saw that coming. But I'm just going to Wildfire the other slot. I am just going to Wildfire the other slot. The Wildfire damage will take out that Articuno. I'm just going to go into a Burning Jealousy. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Or I could yawn. We have options here. We have options here. I'm going to send out P2. So, P2 is going to come out here, and if he wants to... I mean, what's he going to do? Ice Beam, Thunderbolt me? Maybe Dynamax? So we'll see. G-Max Wildfire is definitely going to poke out here. And... Do I yawn? I don't see him Dynamax. I see we just go into a Burning Jealousy. I mean, his stats were boosted, so we could get a burn on him, right? Is that consider this turn? Is that consider this turn? His stats were just boosted, but I don't know if that's considered this turn. I think it's like a pre-turn kind of thing. But he is going to end up Dynamaxing the PZ. And I was going to yawn on it. I really was going to yawn on it. But I was just like, I don't know, man. I was like, I do not know. Because if it wasn't Dynamax, we were going to be able to do some big damage. But he's going to Dynamax. I think he's going into a Max Lightning onto my Charizard. And maybe, just maybe we can eat it. Like I've been saying, he's plus one on special attack. It's not stab, though. But maybe Charizard can actually outspeed. I know he's in a Tailwind. Air Slash is going to poke. Good thing we're going for Jealousy. We probably could have still went for an Eruption. But actually, no. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Charizard still outspeeds through that plus one on the airstream. And we're going to get off some big damage on that PC. And more importantly, get the wildfire damage chipping around. That is like the best part of this move. It's four turns of just like doing a lot of damage. It's phenomenal. He's going to go for a max strike into Charizard. Charizard's going to be able to soak that up all day. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And we're thriving here. They're going to decrease speed, so we will have speed for next turn. But Burn Jealousy is going to come out here. Do some work. Do some work. It's going to take out Articuno. It's going to do damage to the PC. And then we have wildfire chipping away on the PC. Loving where we're sitting. I'm loving where we're sitting. And we have two great back end Pokemon. Two great back end Pokemon. It's awesome. We still have the Kiram. We're definitely going to be able to show him off because I think both of our Pokemon go down here. I think both of our Pokemon do go down here, but let's see who he throws out. Is this going to be Zassian? Zacian, Zassian, whatever you want to call it. And I am going to double down into it. Actually, we're both dead here. We are definitely both dead here. He gets attack boost, and let me see my Pokemon that I have in the back. It's going to be Kiram. And who else did I bring? And it's the Umbreon. Okay. I'm kind of with that. Oh, we do not have Protect on the... Uh, mm, that's a little tough. That's a little tough. I could go into a Guard here. How many turns left in Tailwind? Let me actually check. Let me check how many turns left in Tailwind. Two. Oh, that's tough. That's tough news. Hmm. That's real tough. I could Guard, which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Guard and Protect. Just wait. I got to waste out these Tailwind turns. I really do. These Tailwind turns have got to go. And we're going to start, start having uh, just, just the G-Max Fire Chip it away. So double protect flying through here. I wonder what he's going for. Hopefully the PC's going after Charizard. Behemoth Blade's going after Charizard. And Torkoal's still going to take some damage. And it is going to kind of stink because we are going to get the decrease in speed. But these Pokemon are kind of here just wasting turns right now. That's what I want them to do. I just want them to waste off Tailwind turns. So my Pokemon can get out here and get some work done. But it kind of stinks, yo. We have no... We have no... What's it called? We have no Protect on our Kiram. So once our Kiram comes in here, I think that this... uh That this Zacian is just going to dump on us. With a Behemoth Blade. Because if we had Protect, I could yawn. I can, I can do a little bit of work. But the Wildfire is just slowly chipping away, which is really, really good for us. Um, if one more turn left in Tailwind, like I said, we're just wasting out. And we're going to see if we can get this win with our back-end Pokemon. I'm going to go for the Heat Wave, obviously, and then I guess we'll go for a Burn Jealousy, or do we yawn? I mean, I could yawn. I could definitely yawn. If I can get off this yawn, that could be big. That could be big news for us. Let's do it. Let's go for the yawn. 
Let's go for the on. I think we have two more turns hitting with the wildfire. So with that, PZ will go down to it. Quick attack is going to poke out here, and that is going to take out my Charizard all day. And can Torkoal go first? No, Torkoal's not. PZ's going to get off another shot here, and he's going to go for Max Strike. Can he soak this up, Torx? Eat it up. I don't think you are going to be able to, but eat it up somehow. Nope, Torkoal goes down for the count. Special attack and moves, Torkoal. No bueno. No bueno. But Tailwind's gone. That's really good for us. Uh, like I said, Zassian's going to be able to outspeed, and that's definitely scary. So if we had Protect, that can work really, really good. But it, we do not. We do not. We have Dragon Dance. We have Umbreon out here. Um, what should my play be? Yawn. I think I'm going to yawn onto the... Uh, I think I'm going to yawn onto the Zassian here. And just let Wildfire take out the uh, Porygon. And I'm going to have to let Kyurem go down here. Kyurem is going to have to drop out here. That's, our, that's like our only way. But I know it doesn't outspeed it. I know it doesn't outspeed it. So, you know, we're going for that. We're going for that yawn. We're going to let the Wildfire take out that PZ. Right? We still have one more turn left in Wildfire. Right? Show me we do. We do. We have one more turn. So, it's going to chip away there. That's lovely. And we are just going to... I guess we'll go for Free Shock. We have Power Herm. But, nah, that's not our play. We could go Brick and Swipe. That's no effect. Mm. Fusion Bolt's our call. Fusion Bolt is our call. So, we're going to go here. And I think I just yawn. I think I just yawn. Let's do it. Let's get this done, baby. Let's get this done. PZ is, we're going to allow PZ to get off a shot, but this is just, it has to be your play here. It has to be your play. We have to be able to put you to sleep. So it's super tough because maybe before he even goes to sleep, because we don't have protect, he can just uh, double KO us. He's going to go for the blade. Like I, I, like I knew this was coming. That's going to be able to take my Kieran Black out. No problem. Bye, Kieran Black. It's all good. It's all good. We saw that coming. We knew that was coming. That's why I wish we did have protect on this Kieran. But, you know, we're going to roll out here. We're going to be able to get off a yawn. And uh, dude, we don't have protect. We do not have protect, which is real tough. And this thing is just gonna go. Oh my god, this thing's rocking hyper beam. How much damage are you gonna do? How much damage are you gonna do here? Mmm. It's not looking good for us. That is not looking good for us. Something like this fade. Wildfire should be able to chip one more round. Yep. Wildfire's gonna chip on you. And if we had protect, we could put this Pokemon to sleep. But we do not have protect. And why isn't the wildfire chipping onto the PZ? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was going to say, what is going on here? Wildfire chips away. PZ goes down. Not PZ. P2 goes down. And we're sitting in a tough spot here. Battle number one. Ooh. Not look good. I think we're going to end up losing this one. I think we're going to end up losing this one. I am going to have to Moonlight here. But, yo, dude, he's just going to outspeed me. I do not have Protect. I do not have Protect. Miss. Close combat comes through. Soak it up. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it, yo. Battle number one is an L for us. It's all good. Pretty solid battle there. I thought we were sitting in driver's seat, but our back end Pokemon just could not counter up on that Zacian. Our first battle didn't go so bad. We started off very, very strong with the Charizard and Torkoal combo, and then back end didn't really help us out too much. Our uh, Kiram got dumped on. Same thing with our Umbreon. We just couldn't counter that Zacian, and we ended up losing the first battle. But hey, we're rocking out in our second battle. Looking for our first win for today's video. And we're going up against a Charizard Sun team that also features Zass. So we got to bring our Charizard. I don't think I'm going to bring my Torkoal. I just think bringing Charizard, having him set the sun could be really, really good. Because if he doesn't set the sun and he brings Venusaur, it's a bad Venusaur. It's a bad Venusaur. So we're not even going to bring Torkoal. We're not going to waste a spot on it. And I don't even think I'm going to lead my Charizard. I think he's going to end up leading Grimstone also. I honestly might end up leading Kyurem here. Kyurem could be solid. And I could go Clefairy. I could honestly go Clefairy. It could be really good. I can follow me shots, do all that, and I can get off some big power moves with my Kyurem. So I'm really liking that turn one. Let's do that. And then let's go into... Hmm. We got to bring Charizard in the back, like I said. And then final Pokemon, Landorus? Landorus could be pretty good here. Landorus could be pretty good. I'm kind of liking Lando here. Where do we go, Umbreon? Do we go Torkoal? No, we're going to go Landorus. I really do like Landorus here. We're going to go in with the Kyurem and Clefairy combo. Try to get rolling here. And if he gives us a chance to set up, say he has a bad lead up against these two, I'm going to just follow me, Dragon Dance, and set my Kyurem up. Could be pretty good for us. So let's just see how this one plays out. Because if he leads to Charizard or the what's called, or the Venusaur, I can just go into a big old free shock with that power herb. Get off some big stab damage and possibly pick up a big KO. So let's just see how this one plays out. It's going to end up going Grimmsnarl and Charizard, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. I think I'm just going to go into a follow me. Alongside with this, uh... Alongside with this, uh... Free shock. Wait, that's got to be my play. That's got to be my play. That has got to be my play. Let's do it. Could go actually free shock's not super effective why well, i think it was because uh, he's part fire i could go into just a straight fusion bolt hmm i could go into a fusion bolt but what's gonna do more i think this might do more 140 this is just gonna do 100 times two because it's super effective this is gonna do 140 
Plus it's stab. It's gonna do more than that. And we have a chance of leaving this thing paralyzed. So you know what? I'm just gonna go straight into the uh the bolt here. I'm just gonna help a hand. Or not helping hand. Oh, I could help a hand, but no. We're just gonna go follow me because if he dynamaxes, he can just go straight into a wildfire. And that can be scary damage for us. That could definitely be scary damage for us. So we're not even gonna deal with it. We're gonna have him dynamax. We're gonna go straight for our free shock here. So I was trying, I'm doing the math in my head. So free shock is 140 base power. And it is stat. So that will give it 1.5 times multiplier. That will make it 210. Base power 210. And then the uh the bolt, the electric bolt, whatever that move is called, is 100 base power times two because super effective. That's only 200. So this this move will actually do a little bit more. Do a little bit more. A tad bit more. So we're all about it. We're all about it. This thing is going to set up a reflect. That is going to neglect a lot of the damage. It's going to neglect a lot of the damage, which is a little rough. Maybe we can get a crit or something. Then you go straight for that wildfire. But fairy, can you eat that up? Maybe not. Oh, yeah. You're soaking it up all day. You're a good person. You're a good person, Clefairy. Great person. Free shocks can come out here. We become cloaked in a freezing light. And then our power herb is going to poke. And we're going to be able to use this move in one shot. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Power herb poking. And we send in it. We are sending it. How much damage are we going to do up against this Charizard? Some solid damage. Through a reflect. And more importantly, we have a 30% chance of paralyzing. We get that power. Cool. So now we outspeed. Um... He's not, he doesn't have solar power, but I'm still going to go for a follow me, and I'm just going to go into my electric move. Right? That's got to be your play. Fusion Bolt coming out here. I could D-dance. I could indeed D-dance here. And then just have the Bolt take him out next turn. Then we will be able to outspeed. Unless he goes for... No. You know what? We're just going to go straight into this Bolt here. We're just going to go straight into this Bolt and see what he does. Because I could Dragon Dance, but if he goes for an Airstream here, then he'll just take speed back, and it will be a waste of my turn. It would definitely be a waste of my turn because then Charizard outspeeds me and he can take me out one shot, no problem. Fusion Bolt's gonna come out here. And of course, this thing's rocking with the Wakan Berry. This thing is rocking with the Wakan Berry. But I forgot this thing's paralyzed, so I probably should just Dynamax. Or well, not Dynamax, uh, D Dance. He's gonna go for another Wildfire. I'm cool with that all day. I'm cool with that all day. And this thing might go into a Fairy move, but I can see my Kyurem eating this up. And if we can just soak up one more turn, we'd be sitting in a good spot. He's gonna go for straight for that Spirit Break. Can we soak? We should be able to soak, right? All day. Okay, so, so easy soak for Kirim. Kirim can take out the Charizard, no problem. And now I'm going to bring out... Do I bring out my... uh? Oh, no. He's going to just protect. He's going to protect that Charizard. Which, I mean, I'm fine with. I'm kind of fine with that. I could go into a Charizard of my own. Which might be our play, yo. Dynamax and Charizard? I'm kind of with that all day. Dynamax and Charizard. And just going into uh, Airstream. Just in case he wants to bring out Zacian. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it all day. This is this is a fair chance to just go straight into his ass in here. I could double down into the Charizard because he probably thinks we're gonna go after it. Or not into the Charizard, into the Grimmsnarl. Because I think he is gonna max guard onto the Charizard. But I think I had to pose that threat and take this thing out. I think I had to do that. And just go into an airstream onto you. Right? That's definitely a reply. That's definitely a reply, right? Even though I think Charizard is gonna get the protect. I think he's just gonna guard it. I, I think this is a reply. But there is a chance he could be paralyzed. So we might as well target it down because just say we don't target it down and it doesn't end up max garden It's gonna be able to do some big damage on our Pokemon, which we do not want, which we do not want So let's see what it does. Let's see what it does So I'd rather play it safe than go for the big risky call when there's no need to go for a risky call here We're sitting in a great spot. His Dynamax turns are over basically. It's either he dies here or his Dynamax turns are over So his Dynamax turns are over. We have a Dynamax. We have Intimidate in the back end we're going to have a speed boost right here. We're going to get wildfire set up. We're going to be sitting in a good spot to grab ourselves our first win for uh, this video. Hopefully grab ourselves the first win for this video. But Charizard gets the Dynamax. Let's see how this one plays out. Is he guarding? He does not guard. Oh, we go straight for a Thunder Wave. That's actually, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. As, as long as we're not paralyzed. As long as we can still move. Fusion Bolt's going to come out here later, Charizard. Get this Pokemon out of my face. But this kind of stinks because Zacian can probably outspeed us now. We don't like that Thunder Wave. We do not like that Thunder Wave. Flames is going to take out my, uh, my, what's it called? My Kiram. And now I don't like where we're sitting. I really don't, yo. That seemed really scaring me. Speed boost is going to poke out here. And we're not surviving this wildfire, right? No shot, right? No shot. 35, it does more than that. All day. So it does more than that. Uh, definitely want to go into an, uh, Intimidate, obviously, because it's our last Pokemon. But honestly, I don't think Zacian can really do too, too much here. We have Swords Dance. We're not going to be able to outspeed him, but he is going to be able to do some big damage because we do not have protect. But we're hoping he throws out Sassy here so our Intimidate comes in here. And we go double Landers. Okay. Double Lando comes out. Intimidates on both sides. 
I'm with it. We are gonna send a wildfire. Now, I might swords dance. I could swords dance. I could indeed swords dance. Hmm. What is my play? He's probably just gonna go straight for a spirit break. So, you know what? We're just gonna go into. We go rock slide. We could fly. I, I really want a swords dance. I really want a sword dance, but you know, rock side's gonna be the call here. And we are just gonna go into a wildfire. Rock side and wildfire. Hopefully, he doesn't fly. He could definitely fly. Let's see what, let's see what his play is. He's gonna set up a light screen. So, there's a light screen. Man. Light screen finally comes out. That's a little rough for us. We don't like that light screen. We don't like it one bit. We're gonna go straight for a rock side. Can we get a flinch on that Lando? It'd be really good for us. It'd be really good for us. And we do outspeed that Lando. That's crazy that we outspeed that Landers. We're gonna be able to do some nice damage here. And. Not take him out, but Wildfire will take him out. We get a crit, which is awesome. But now what's he going to go for before he dies out? Lander's flinches. Oh, that's lovely. That's a lovely flinch there. Wildfire chipping all around. And we're sitting in a great 2v1 situation. A great 2v1 situation. With one more Dynamax turn left. With one more Dynamax turn left. The so Wildfire chipping on you. Actually, it's not 2v1. Why do I think Wildfire was going to be able to take out? It does not. It does not. And Grimstar's just going to go for a Spirit Break. Zassian can come out here. Here it is. Here's the Zassian. We can go into a free EQ, and I think we just wildfire down to the Zassian slot. It's got to be a play, right? Attack boost. I could go for the speed boost instead. I definitely want to EQ. It has no effect on us. I kind of want to go for the speed boost just so our boy can outspeed. Right? Because I kind of see Zassian protecting here. Nah, we got to pose this threat here. We got to pose this. We got to go straight for the wildfire, right? We gotta go for the wildfire. I do think he protects, and I really want to go for the speed. And we go straight for a player off. That's lovely, yo. That's easy eats. Good thing we did go into the wildfire here. EQ is gonna be able to poke, take out the Grim Snarl, do some damage on Zassian, and we're sitting in a great spot. We are sitting in a great spot. All we need is to not be paralyzed here, and we pretty much win this game. Of course, yo. Of course, man. What you mean? Yo, what's this game, dude? What is this game? Get out my face. Get out my face, bro. Oh my lord. Yo, rewind that a little bit. Rewind that clip a little bit. I was sitting there, I was just like, all we need is not be bad. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Paralyzed. Get out of my face. Gotta go for another EQ here. I could go for Swords Dance, but. Swords Dance, Heat Wave. I mean, actually, yeah, Heat Wave will do more stab. I was gonna say, what does more? That or the ground move, but ground's not stab. Let's see his play. He has no double hitting moves, and I think we can eat up a play rough. Oh, there we go. Battle was canceled. One and one for today's video. Let's hop into our third. Try to grab ourselves that winning record. Check out this dude's team. Check out the top three Pokemon. I should say the, the second Pokemon and the third Pokemon. It's Corviknight and Rhyperior. Remind me of the good old days of Pokemon Sword and Shield back in the earlier series where Corviknight and Rhyperior were used so, so often. I miss it so much. I miss using Corviknight. But we're hopping into our third battle, looking to grab ourselves a winning record. Um, I think he is going to lead the Zacian on this squad. I don't know why. I just have a weird feeling. Or Lapras could come in here. And Lapras... Lapras could do his dirty. Lapras could do his dirty. I kind of want to leave Kirim again. Kirim's just a lot of fun to play with. He can do work on a lot of these Pokemon, so I'm really liking Kirim here. So let's lead the Kirim. Could lead the Clefairy here as well, but the Pokemon aren't that fast besides the bird. I do not want to lead Intimidate because, you know, we would just, uh, he could just go into Defiant Bird and pretty much counter us, Dynamax, and win the battle. But I think Kirim's a great pick. I think Clefairy might come in here for a nice little lead. We could help in hand. We could do a decent amount of work here. I'm kind of liking that. He could go Trick Room. Oh, that room's kind of scary. In that case, I kind of just want to go maybe into like Charizard or something. Just double down with some. Hmm. Now let's go Umbreon as lead. Let's go Umbreon. Let's go Torkoal as a back end, just in case he wants to poke that uh that trick room. And then finally, do I go Lando? Lando could be nice, especially with that Intimidate. But I kind of like Charizard here. I'm gonna bring Charizard, dude. Charizard's just too good not to bring. You got the Life Orb on him. We're bringing Torkoal, so we're gonna have that Solar Power kicking. Just gotta bring him. If we're bringing Torkoal, we gotta bring Charizard. We gotta bring Charizard. But yo. Let's grab ourselves this winning record. We lost our first battle, a little rough. We start off on a strong note in that battle too, then ended up coming in the back end and losing. But second battle went really well for us. We got Shelf Kira uh, Black. We got the uh, use Charizard again. So everything went well. And he goes Zap Zapdos and Lapras, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. I mean, I want to go into Snarls, but I can't because that's going to trigger Defiant. But uh, what's my plan here? Go into a Free Shock? Could indeed go into a Free Shock. I mean, who outspeeds? Because I don't mind going into the Snarl if I'm going to be able to get off a free shock. I could just Dynamax, to be honest. 127, 86. Okay, so I could go into the free shock. I could potentially just dump on this thing. 
which I'm really liking. Yeah, we're gonna do that, and I'm just gonna go into a snarl here. I could yawn the Lapras. But I think Snarl is gonna be great for us. What do I yawn? I'm gonna yawn this thing. I don't see this thing being Lumberry. I see it more so being like Lake Blade or uh, Life Orb. So he's gonna Dynamax Lapras. We obviously saw this coming all day. And I think he's just gonna go for like, maybe like a Thunderous Kick into my into my Kyrim. But I wonder if Kyrim outspeeds. I don't think it does. I think Zapdos is a bit faster. But as long as we eat up a shot, this Free Shock is gonna come out here, do some big damage, and we're gonna put this Lapras to sleep, which is going to be huge. Then I could just Dynamax Charizard. I could get Torkoal out here. I could do a lot of different things. Here comes his move. He's going to go straight for that Thunder's Kick. I actually might be going into Umbreon. They're just super effective up against Umbreon. And now he goes into Kyrim. That's beautiful. Kyrim soaks up. This thing's an absolute tank. And he's going to get that drop on us, which is a little rough. That defense drop. Free Shock's going to poke out here. We're going to say, hey, yo, bird. Get on out my game. We're going to absolutely dump on that bird. That bird's gone, dude. That bird stands no chance with this Power Herb shot. And we're kind of hoping he goes after Umbreon. But he might double down to Kyrim. Because we can soak up a shot with Umbreon, and then we will be able to get off like a Fusion Bolt. Which could do some nice damage onto that Lapras. But he's probably going to bring out a Pokemon that outspeeds both of us. Yon's going to come out here. We're going to say, hey, yo, night, night. You got one more turn left, or you're going to sleep. He's going to drop the Resonance, and that's got to go into Umbreon. Which Umbreon should be able to soak. Oh, no, it goes over to Kyrim. Which is going to be neutral. Okay, that's fine. Neutral me out, dude. Kyrim gone. We got the Yawn off. He has a Roar Bell up. Um, I could go into Lando. Lando is a solid little play here. So I could A, either Sword Stance. We're going to Charizard. Oh, no, we don't have Lando. We could go into Torkoal and just get Weather. Just Protect. I mean, then he just changes up Weather, which is kind of tough for us. I think I'm just going to go into Charizard and Guard. I think going into Charizard and just sending a Max Guard is probably our play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot. He definitely wants to go into the water move in the Charizard. So we're going to Dynamax. We're going to Max Guard block it. And then just Wildfire out. Just Wildfire out because Lapras will then be asleep. We can snarl it down. We can kind of get some work going. So let's go here. Let's guard up. And then Umbreon's going to... We yawn again? We could yawn again. We could yawn again. Or we could go into a foul play. Look at my yawn. If I get off a yawn on Assassin, I'm liking that. We're going to double down on the yawns. We're going to have Umbreon out here for the yawns. I kind of want to go and snarl, but... Zacian's gonna be our big threat here. I do not think this Lapras is Lumberry. Yo, I swear, yo, if this Lapras is Lumberry, I'm gonna cry a little bit. You're gonna see a grown man playing Pokemon start crying in a video. It's gonna be it's gonna be a mess. It's gonna be an absolute mess. <laughs> it's gonna be an absolute mess. But our Charger is gonna get Dynamax for three battles in a row. You just can't go wrong with Dynamax and Charizard. Just can't go wrong with it. And here comes our guard setting up a big block. Big block out here. And Wild Charge coming. Are you doubling down? You got to please double down. That'd be a huge turn for us. Wild Charge. We're going to be able to go with the Yawn. And show me he's going for the Geyser. In the show me he's going into the Geyser. In the that could be a lovely turn. He goes for Lightning. That works. Double block. Great max guard for us. Lapras. Night, night. Take your Night Cool pills. You're going to bed. You're going to build. Bed. Okay, cool. So now we're sitting here. Easily going to Wildfire here. And then easily just... Ah, uh, I could just foul play. I could Moonlight. I mean, I think he's going into Wild Charge. I don't think he's going to uh, touch me, so... Actually, I'm just going to Snarl here. We're going to drop Lapras' special attack. While it's asleep, just start dropping a special attack. Wild Charge can come out here. I figured it was coming after me here. And this Wildfire should be able to take him out here. He's got big recoil damage. You should be gone. We're taking speed. We're doing good. Charizard should be fastest in the game now, in this match. Right? I think he only had Zacian who's faster than, than my Charizard. So we got that. Snarl's going to poke out here. Drop that thing to uh, minus one. And more importantly, it's Dynamax turns is over. It's gone. Get it out of my face. And I could hard swap into, uh, I could hard swap into Torkoal here. Just to get the Sun Roll, but I do not think we need it. I do not think we need it. Hopefully his last Pokemon is a special attacker, because that can work wonders for us. Considering we have Snarl, and we can pretty much just solidify this battle by just constantly Snarling and bringing out our, uh, back-end Pokemon. It's gonna be Rhyperior. Okay, so is gonna come out here. I kinda don't like that, but I kinda do at the same time. I mean, I have to target him down, right? I have to target my period down. We're going to go into a max quake here. It should be able to take out one shot if we do hit it. And I'm just going to double down into it by foul play. And I, don't, I do not see him protecting. I think he's just going to try to get off like a, maybe like a rock record onto us. Or he could protect and hope that his Lapras wakes up. But if he doesn't protect, yo, which GG's. Charizard is 100% going to be able to take it out one shot. It's a special attack and move. And we all know my period special defense right in the trash. He does not guard or protect. Get him out of here. That's GG's. That's going to be GG's for the game. Up here, you gone. Actually, he's not gone. He soaked it up. I'm scared. I'm scared. Why did I think that was going to do a lot more damage than it did? 
Why did I think that? We still have Torkoal in the back, which I think Torkoal outspeeds. We are doubling down into this guy. Lapras, hopefully you're still slumped. Foulplay's gonna come out here. And how much damage can Foulplay do? Decent amount of damage. Not bad. Lapras wakes up. He goes for Thunder and it misses, yo. That's lovely. Oh, no. He has Lightning Rod. Then take that attack. And that's fine. I mean, I don't think he remembered that his, that his dude had Lightning Rod because I think he's a physical attacker. So you can go for a Rock Wrecker. Can we eat that? Or is that special attacking? It seems physical. But it seems like it could be special. We soak, though. We soak and leftovers are going to start triggering. So we have the speed. I could put Lapras back to sleep, which I might do. I might put Lapras back to sleep, but I know we outspeed. I know we outspeed, so I might just go into a heat wave here. We'll just go straight into a heat wave. Heat wave could be good. But I think heat wave can take out right here with the sun. So that's exactly what we're going to do. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to swap here. Why do I think that max quick was doing more damage than it, than it did? I definitely thought it was just going to be able to KO this thing. I'm just so used to using like super effective special attacking moves just to dump on Rhyperiors. I'm just so used to that. We're going to switch to the Drought. This Heat Wave should be able to take out Rhyperior and do a decent amount of damage onto that uh, onto that Lapras. Heat Wave comes out here. It double connects. Thank the Lord. And Rhyperior gone. Beautiful. Rhyperior gone. We chilling. We are thriving here. It's over. It is G to the G's. Life Orb is going to take damage. We're going to go down to our... Uh, ooh, Hydro Pump coming in. I going after Charizard? Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And it's going after Charizard. Considering that uh, Charizard was dying anyway to solar power. We're sitting in the green spot. We are sitting in the GG spot. One foul play should be able to come out here. Finish that off. Their Roar Veil finally wears off. And that is why it soaked up a lot of damage. I always forget when people have a Roar Veil out on the field. Or like screens and stuff. I just always forget about it. I don't know why. Especially, it's more so a Roar Veil. Like screens you kind of remember. Because like, yo, they set up with screens. You're like, okay, they use Reflect. Aurora Veil is kind of different because most of the time it comes from Lapras' G-Max build. But we're just going to come in here with the foul play. We're going to come in here with uh, Burning Jealousy just in case he wants to hit us. And it's going to be GG's. We're going to grab ourselves a winning record and showcase this really cool Kieran Black team to its fullest potential. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This dude should just quit. Keep his Lapras alive. Keep his Lapras alive. That poor little Lapras. You do not want it to die. There's no way this dude still thinks he has a shot, does he? Let's see. Let's see what this guy's cooking with. This guy's really taking a while. He's probably sitting here thinking, if I do this, calculate and everything. Brought out his whole, what is that thing called? His graphing calculator, doing graphs and stuff. If I do this, Torkoal has a 60% chance of missing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I can still win this game. Nah, dude, you lost. Turn off your console. Quit the match. He does not quit, yo. He's calculating. And Foulplay can come out here and say, hey, yo, Lapras, get on out my face. You lost this battle. GG's winning record for you guys. What a great set of three battles. I'm pretty sure we showcased every single Pokemon on this team. We got Kieran Black out there a decent amount. Clefairy got in there a couple times. Got the rock out with that. Landers came in. Umbreon used some yawns. Charizard obviously came in every single battle. We Dynamax him every single time. You just can't go wrong with it. There's just no problem with Dynamax and Charizard. And Torkoal came in, I think, two of the three? Maybe all three. No, I think it was two of the three, and it rocked out there using its sun, using its abilities, and just doing some big damage all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. One last huge shout out to my boy Cloverbell for leaving this team. Like I said, link to his channel will be down in the description below. But seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.